morning checks are rare for me because um, you know usually it's sun up to sundown uh, this time of year but the boss called this morning and said he needed an extra 30 minutes to pick up some windows some material so I love checking traps in the morning uh, the sun's just coming up you see the sun just coming up there the sky is just getting bright but I came out here to the the old hay set just to check it and I don't know if you remember but that piece of bark is where I had the bait so what you're looking at was originally underneath the log so we definitely have something on the drag and I'm looking across the field here and I don't see anything but right behind me is a little patch of woods they tend to run towards cover if you tra if you trap them and uh, I can actually hear a little bit of rustling right back here so let's go find out what we have <laughs> I don't even rush this part because it's exciting as much as I've trapped it's still just exciting to see what's you know waiting for you so come on let's go find out There we are. It's just digging away there trying to get out of there, but you see what we have this morning, right? It's just dark enough I can even see his eyes lighting up there with the camera light. So it's still pretty early. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, dispatch this guy. <clears throat> and I uh, left the truck running up there, so I'm going to get him dispatched. And then uh, get this remade again. Ha! Number three in the old hay set. What's that? You're still not using the hay set? All right. <laughs> He's really penned up in there. Just got one trap this morning on his foot. So he has a lot of range. I'm just thinking about how to do this, you know? Last year I got bit. I don't want to repeat that.
I do recommend the Duke one and three quarter. Mostly that's just in case you got coyote in the area. I just feel a little more comfortable with one and three quarters than a one and a half, you know. So it's the same set that I've always done. I'm not changing a thing. Obviously something that's working right. And, uh, you know, no one really owns the patent to uh, the hay set. But the way that I do this is the way that my buddy Timberline North showed me, talked me through. So it's not really my... It's not really my hay set, it's his, you know, They're his version of it. <clears throat> but works like a charm, as you can see. So I'm gonna stick with it, what do you say? So I'm just breaking that up into a bunch of little pieces and moving it around inside the two traps. So it's guarded by two traps. So the idea is the fox will kind of work at it. He'll be digging at it to try and find those little morsels, you know. My product placement there, huh? Once again, I'm going to take grass from inside the catch circle. And I did move the trap this time. I didn't leave it back in the woods. I brought it back here to where it was originally. You know, I do like to just leave it wherever I find it whenever possible, but it made more sense to bring it back into the field. So I did. Now, I don't know how you guys do, uh, how the red fox move in your area, but here, typically, when you catch, it's over the evening hours, you know, it's overnight. So the morning check is just a good idea. I prefer a morning check. Otherwise, this red fox would have been sitting here for, you know, the entire day. If you are doing the hay set, if you're gonna go out here and do it, one of the most important pieces of tool that you need is a nice pair of heavy-duty scissors. So pick up a pair. I use these a lot, and uh, I think it's a great tool. It's one of those tools that I don't hear many folks talk about. So, all right. That's it. That's the remake. So the sun is just starting to come up over the trees back there, as you can probably see. That's just a pretty morning all around. 
So there it is, once again, still functioning, and uh, of course, before anybody asks, remake it. There's a lot more red fox in the area than most people realize, so just keep remaking it. Put some fur in the shed, late season, let it freeze, let it thaw, all mother nature wants. And you just rack up the fur. The old hay set.